Thank you. Got to wrap this one up. We're all already all you know, kind of set to move on to China, but we got to get the other deal out of the way mm -hmm. first, I suppose. Now, as we all, well, not the two all. of us, we're <laughs> staying here in New York, but as many people get set to head home for the holidays, millions of Americans are indeed hitting the road. It's uh, uh, be a rare case where it makes sense for everybody, right? In a moment to California, where it's still such a devastating situation. We have rescue crews searching. Caesar salad. You, uh, thanks, I do. I mean, like, the last thing I think about no, no offense, on Thanksgiving is salad. But it's fine. I mean, not that this is not a serious issue. Get the issue, pie. So. Let's get the exactly pie right. going. All right. Not one, but two big banks sounding the alarm now. Why JP Morgan is now. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining us, Susan. Happy Have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And thanks for joining us today. And every day here on After the Bell, we will see you back here next week. And David Asman's up next. Bulls and Bear starts right now. You know, what's interesting is that the president was so um, indignant about changing the Fed chair. And you wonder what would have happened if he. I mean, this is his. Fed chair that he, uh, less than a year ago that Zuckerberg was doing these listening tours in middle America and there was all of this talk that Zuckerberg may run for president no, after seeing that CNN after interview, that. I think that's <laughs> over um, but what what I think has happened here is all of these social media companies did the exact thing that the banks did in 2008 which is immediately fight regulation it's not our fault every to everyone in Washington is an idiot and, and Tim Cook is I think way ahead of this that so we are going to see chair. well we are going to see yeah the apple chair thank you we're going to see regulation YouTube. by the way the Thing. History is not on this. Teaming up to actually try and hold MBS accountable through um, sanctions, which the Congress can pass. He's doing it in a, not, not in the most sophisticated manner, but the underlying policy. Bill, let's start with you first on okay. this. And, and clearly, we just heard from the president on this issue, and he is blasting that judge. I agree with Bill. There is a process. Uh, the job of administration in this particular ruling. Worse than that, <clears throat> there were two different things going on. On your first thing with respect to Supreme Court. Very interesting. Your agreement yes. with Bill McGurn there. The judicial branch has done the, uh, ha has taken on the. So I would agree. We like hope. We like change. We like aspiration. We like excitement. And, you know, and the Republican Party defers to experience. And so we'll see what happens. We'll see if the Democratic Party first to experience in the race for speaker um, and the leadership. That's a whole different and the, leader, the leadership, we're, which we're is. Gonna, we're going to need a whole hour for that one. It didn't work out too well. Last I would respectfully okay. disagree. Ben <laughs> McAdams, who was just elected in Utah, says he is not a Pelosi fan. So. All right. Yeah. We will leave it there. Thank you very much to our A-team. That was great.